hear what Jason say, uh, one of Greg Key's volunteer assistants this year, but also was on uh, Greg's first uh, two District 9 championship teams. Jason, what was it like for you to just be part of this moment tonight uh, to watch Coach Heath uh, win game number 638? Yeah, I mean, uh, he deserves it, you know, and I think, you know, you and I talked about this before. You said, you know, when you played for Coach Heath, did, did you know he was going to have this many wins? Heck no, I knew he was a good coach. But I don't think anybody can say, hey, this guy's going to get 600 wins. Those guys are one in a million. So uh, to be here and to be a part of the, the team this year has been, we've talked about before with everything going on, my kid being a senior and him allowing me to be a part and then to be a part of him getting that big win tonight has been special. What, in your opinion, makes him such a great coach? Uh, you know, there's a lot of things. I mean, there's never just one thing, but I think there'd be two main things I'd point to. One is he's more concerned about a kid's character than he is wins and losses at the end of the day. Um, you know, and he, he cares about the kids genuinely. And he, at the end of the day, it's not about wins and losses, but it's about creating better human beings. And I think that's one of the best things about him. Secondly, I say, you know, I'm fairly new coach and I kind of come from the old school and I say, we need to yell and scream at these guys and we need to do this and put them on the line and make them run. And he's really evolved over the years where when I played for him, it wasn't uncommon for a piece of chalk to fly by your head or an eraser. Well, it doesn't, that doesn't happen quite as often anymore. And he's really evolved to get the most out of his kids every single year.